Deputy Creighton. Thanks very much. Um, Cahir Luck and thanks, Minister, for, um, for taking the topical issue. Um, I suppose, like Deputy Flanagan, I've encountered um, a huge amount of distress amongst carers, um, not just in my own constituency, but generally around the, the greater South Dublin area. Um, and um, I think everybody knows the value that we attach to respite. It's hugely important for carers that they have an opportunity to break from routine. It's also hugely important for um, their dependents that they have an opportunity, particularly in the case of um, uh, children with uh, intellectual disabilities and so on, to, to, to have the opportunity to express their, their independence um, and to go into a different environment. Um, I particularly have met with um, a group of um, parents um, who are spread right across the South Dublin area, um, all of whom care for adult children with intellectual disabilities. Um, and back in 2012, 2013, they were in receipt of 20 days respite per year. That figure has now reduced to 12, uh, 12 nights um, respite um, per year and in some instances um, parents actually don't receive, carers don't receive any respite at all. It, it seems to be quite random, quite ad hoc uh, and it's causing a, quite a large amount of distress. Um, there are also instances where uh, respite care has actually been um, arranged and agreed to and because of the changes in staffing often the, the, the notice period is now much longer than it used to be um, so they might arrange it weeks if not months in advance um, and then at short notice because um, because of emergency residential care requests um, the, the, the respite care is actually cancelled at the very last minute uh, literally on the afternoon or the evening um, that, um, that um, uh, the, the, um, the break or the care was uh, re the respite care was supposed to begin um, so that makes it very difficult for families to plan and makes it very difficult, very, very difficult for uh, for carers to, to provide the sort of adequate care that they need to, to their dependents. Thank you. <clears throat> I'd like to thank um, uh, Deputies Flanagan and Creighton for raising this issue today uh, and for allowing me to address it in the House uh, and taking this uh, debate on behalf of Minister Lynch. Uh, a key objective of this government's health policy is to support people to live in dignity and independence in their own homes and communities for as long as is possible. Uh, carers are vital to achieve this objective and are considered to be the backbone of care provision in Ireland. A break from caring can lessen the psychological and emotional stress they experience and can help carers to continue to provide the support that they give. Respite services for adults and children with disabilities are provided in a variety of settings depending on the needs of the family and available resources. In 2015, uh, 2000, or sorry, in 2015, 5,274 people with a disability are expected to avail of residential care-based uh, respite services, uh, utilising uh, 190,000 bed nights. In addition, between 2,000 and 2,500 avail of non-centre-based respite services, such as holiday residential placement, occasional respite with a host family, overnight respite in the home and summer camps. The provision of residential respite services for people with a disability has come under increased pressure uh, in recent years. Any available uh, development funding has focused mostly on the provision of day places for pupils graduating from school or rehabilitative training programmes or emergency residential placements. The need for increased respite facilities is acknowledged by the HSC uh, and the HSC continues to work with agencies to explore various ways of responding to their needs. For older people, services respite can be provided via an enhanced home care package uh, for the period of respite uh, or in public or private nursing home beds. Respite can also be contracted by the HSC in private nursing homes. There are about 1,860 short-stay public beds, including step-up and step-down care, uh, rehab and respite care, which are used in a flexible manner to meet local needs at any given time. Uh, they're interchangeable for use depending on demand. Uh, it's acknowledged that, that there's a higher level of respite care required across the Greater Dublin area. Uh, 8 million of the additional 25 million allocated in 2015 will provide uh, 115 additional transitional care beds for discharges from acute hospitals, uh, including the opening of, of Mount Carmel uh, later in the year. Uh, 5 million has been allocated for the provision of additional home care packages targeted on a needs basis to individuals who are discharged from Dublin hospitals. This will assist in allowing individuals to return and to remain at home and supports the carers in the provision of in-home services. Uh, this, is a, in, this is in addition to the 315 million that has been provided nationally for home support services. 
This stronger emphasis on home care and other community services provides a greater range of options to avoid admission to acute hospitals, support early discharges and where appropriate uh, uh, to rehabilitate and re-able patients after periods of particular difficulty. Uh, the funding that is available for services must be balanced across uh, all of the various service areas in a way that achieves the best possible outcomes for the greatest number of service users and prioritise and prioritise the area of greatest need as far as possible. The demand for services has increased in recent years, and we need to ensure that home care supports are easily accessible uh, as possible, so that many older people as possible can be supported at home. The shortage of respite care was one of the issues raised by the carers' representatives at the annual carers' forum, which is hosted by the Department of Social Protection on Tuesday. And I want to, be sh want to assure deputies that my department and the HSC will follow up on this issue. there um, for your response and I know you have a huge volume of work on your, on your desk and um, just to ask you if you can prioritise this issue because carers are being taken for, taken for granted here and uh, when you consider what's involved they really do need their breaks like they really are necessary in order for them to be able to continue uh, to look after loved ones but this issue Minister has been raised um, by many constituents but particularly by service users of Prosper, Fingal and St Michael's House and uh, one constituent inf was informed by St Michael's House that although they recognise more respite is needed, that they do not have the funding in order to provide that service. Um, and the HSC advised, advised at the end of December last year that a restrictive budget has meant that they've had to reduce res respite care services. So um, obviously um, more beds is what's needed here and they need to be freed up on a more regular basis so that it's spread uh, among more families. But um, regarding the, the annual carers uh, forum, can you, can you uh, just outline some of the issues raised and what progress or what plan you're going to put Good in mother. place uh, ar around them? And also, is, has there any update, um, t is there any update regarding the nation national carers Thank strategy? You. And also, in conclusion, uh, can you speak with your colleague, the Minister for Social Protection, and ask her to look at the respite care grant, which sadly has been reduced in recent years from 1,700 to 1,375. Thank um, you, Deputy. It's scandalous. I think Thank you. people need to be Thank you very looked much. after properly. And, um, Hopefully the Minister um, can do that. Good morning. Talk to Creighton. Um, thanks, thanks, Minister, for your reply. And I don't want to um, repeat what uh, Deputy Flanagan has said. I would be interested to hear some feedback from the Carers Forum, um, which was hosted on Tuesday. Um, and I suppose to have maybe a little bit more of an insight in terms of what, what you believe is required in order to deal with the backlog now for respite, uh, which exists not just in Dublin, but right across the country, uh, in terms of bed numbers and in, in terms of ca capital expenditure, ultimately, I mean, what would be the ideal? Thank you. Good morning. And Tara? Um, uh, I, 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 the, the, the CARES Forum is, is operated um, by the Department of Social Protection, so the HSC obviously takes part in it for the obvious reasons, but um, it's not something that, um, that, that the Department of Health um, uh, operates, uh, and the same applies to the CARES strategy is led by the, um, uh, by, by the Minister for Social Protection, so it would be, it'd be, be uh, wrong of me to give an update or a report on that, uh, given that I wasn't present and, um, uh, and that it was... Um, and that it was under the power of social protection, but I'm sure all sorts of issues related to um, domiciliary care and respite care grants and so on uh, were raised. Or I would expect that to be the case. Um, on, 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 on respite, um, I, I've, I've certainly have one or two cases in my own constituency of, of people who haven't been able to get respite. Uh, where it has happened in a lot of cases is because emergency residential care was required uh, for somebody else. And I suppose that's just, just the nature of these things, whether it's financial, um, there's already uh, always competing demands, uh, and where there's a, 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 a social care, personal care, health need, uh, there are very often people who, at that particular point in time, need a little bit more. Um, but I'll certainly um, seek a report from the HSC uh, on it uh, and, um, uh, and ask what, what additional measures could be put in uh, to ensure that we do have um, adequate respite facilities for carers, um, because obviously we do want to be able to support them uh, in what they do, um, and, uh, and and the fact that they um, that they do what they do uh, obviously reduces the need for for long-term residential care um, uh, or the, the potential for it uh, were that were they not to offer the service that that they provide um, already. Come on, the, the third.